folks, welcome back to the channel. Um, I hope everybody managed to um, ride out that little bit of a storm and there was no major issues and your vans and all that kind of stuff was all safe. Um, touch wood, everything was good here and we've seen the back of that storm. Which, uh, I think there is another one brewing, so who knows. Anyway, this video is going to be a little bit different because a lot of you have been asking me to make more videos, which is awesome and I really appreciate that because... Uh, yeah, it's just it's nice. Um, as much as I'd love to make more of the videos I like to make, I need a lot of footage to be able to produce a video like that and a lot of spare time. I'm balancing family and work. It comes when they come. However, these kind of videos are very quick and easy for me to make. And a lot of you have been actually asking me to make more of this. So I'm listening to you now. And um, if it feels a little bit different to the usual sort of video I'd make, then let me know what, whether I should make more. If you're that person, drop it in the comments below. Do you want to see more of this alongside what I do? Anyway, what's the video going to be about? If it's not already given away in the title, that is some uh, tool organization stuff. So we're going to go and unpack that and um, see what that's like. Uh, not really a review, but if you're in the market for a tool chest and stuff, then maybe this video is for you. But anyway, I'm excited about getting it um, because I just went out and purchased it. And um, it's another step forwards towards my mod shop goals. Um, it's very disorganized in there at the moment. And if you follow my videos from where I keep my van and that sort of thing, it doesn't really align with uh, how I like to be. But there's more important things on the property that are pressing work is busy and all that stuff and balancing family life so it is what it is but it's still going to be moving on um, one day at some point that's going to make a wicked place to mod stuff but without further ado let's um, i'm going to fix a coffee and then i will meet you out there all right <clears throat> this is in a mess. Check out that, by the way. Look at that. That is what you call a home coffee. If you don't know me by now, I love coffee. And I'm not saying that because it's the YouTube thing to say. I love coffee. Mmm. Ah, I love it. Anyway, that's for another day. Uh, this place is in a serious state. Look at that. I mean, I don't know where to start. <laughs> Look at the bench. I mean, it's just bad. They've got the, there's wheels there. They should be in the, in my unit. They're not. Um, there's cupboards over here that were for something that we're not going to get to use for a long time. There's stuff car buckets my bike should do a, th a video on this bike for you comment below if you wanted me to do a video on the bike something that i uh i rip around on anyway i think i'm just going to make a little bit of space real quick get the bike out of the way so i've got somewhere to put it down because it's real windy still out there and a um, lot of noise and stuff so um let's get it in here and i'll tell you a bit more about it
best I'm gonna do for today. It's kind of ironic that I'm getting too tool organized here and the rest of the time. So like, well, it really nice. that's a set up. Let me go get the van. Let's do it. Okay, we've got a slip mat. We've got a six straw chest and we've got a seven draw chest. This is the thing on the floor, the wheels on it. Um, we've got some bigger drawers, five bigger drawers. Then there are two skinny drawers for like the spanners and stuff and I guess like a mat. This is designed to sit on here if you want or not. So that's my purchase. Um, these were on sale last week. There was like a price crunch thing, which is what drew me to go and sort this out. I think if time this video airs, they've gone back up to normal now. I'm gonna put the links below to these actual products anyway, because I know everybody always asks me at the end of a video. Um, and um, so I, they'll be linked below in the description. CTC 700C, that's the seven trawl chest. And this is the CTC 600B. Um, they came from Machine Mart, which is like Santa's grotto to me. <laughs> um, I'm sure there's other people that watch the channel would agree with that, but they've got these special lights wherever you drive past one just draw you in tools stuff blue and red come on in wow they got me anyway let's just get these cracked open and see what's in the box and how they come the little one first Okay, so it's all locked. It's <laughs> probably a key here somewhere, bear with. Keys. Keys are on the side. By the way, a couple of people asked me about the, uh, the new um, low down hoodie. 
The guys down at Low Down Transporters dropped some new merch over the Christmas break. Um, ish they, they, they announced it at christmas so yeah head over and have a look at their website and you'll see that these are available on the website um so yep right so back to the main broadcast here we've got we've got problems <laughs> Does this work? Something like... Three days later. Right, all you gotta do is you gotta open the lid first. And then the drawers are easy. <laughs> anyway, okay. Uh, this was the GoPro cam. Okay, so you got skinny drawer, little little compartment, three of these at the top. Cool, nice runners. Uh, you've got full width skinny drawer, full width skinny drawer, and then there's a slightly deeper full width drawer on that. These feet, these foam sticky back feet, they go on the bottom of these if you want to so it doesn't wreck whatever surface you're putting it on so that's the smaller one and a handle lots on the side to lug it so that's cool um, that wasn't really the one that i majorly needed but the price was really good on it and it does sit on the top of here if you want it to so let's get the other one open and actually see what's inside the big box the cool thing is, literally you saw that comes straight out of the box, ready to go. This, um, this line of stuff that you can buy, it's up to you, you could just put a bit of carpet in there. This, actually you cut this and stick that in there so you, your stuff doesn't slide around, so. Um, optional. Right, let's get the other box open. Don't lose the keys. Not too bad, heavy wise. This one on the other hand's a bit heavier with the knife. Ugh. well packaged these boxes man I can't wait to get this place sorted out he's doing my head in um, okay, so that's the top. I think we've got some wheels with this one somewhere. Get it off this bit of polystyrene. Alright. Alright, so, keys. little uh this thing's cool this um this thing came from uh, uh machine mark as well hydraulic sort of uh seat wheelie thing just sit on it moves around I'm sure i've shown this in my videos before and uh, it's got like a hydraulic sort of part to it so you can change it up but this thing in the bottom's ace because when you're undoing your nuts and bolts and stuff on your wheels or whatever you can um put all the stuff in the bottom there and it doesn't sort of drop or fall or lose it. It was especially um, 
useful when I had my Vossens because I used to need to sit down and wash those. Um, not so much now with the Navis and the uh, black wheels, but yeah, anyway. Let's crack this open. Yeah, that feels a bit better. So, um, let's get on the GoPro again. So, we've got top lock, which I guess locks all of them. Check that in a minute. Nice, deep, skinny drawer, spanners and stuff. Two of those. Again, you're gonna need the liner in here, which is what I bought that spare liner for. And then um, some slightly deeper ones, roughly like that. There's five of these. The, the runners feel nice. Um, there's something at the start, like a magnet or something, that um, will lift, stop them from just flying open randomly. But they all feel pretty good, actually. That must be the legs, uh, the feet, rather. There's some wheels with it, so we're going to stick it on those. And uh, this is like a handle which goes on the side, I guess you. It's up to you whether you fit it. I'm going to, because I'm going to be able to move this around the shop. Um, so I'm going to put these wheels on and then stick it all together. So give me five and I'll just do that. mistake that you saw that I made was put those legs they, the swivelly ones with the brakes need to be on the handle end and the fixed ones at the back obviously so you can trolley it round anyway there we go let's see Sorry, let me put that on. Guess that sits like that. And there she is. Yeah, I think, um, again, I'm gonna put the links below if anyone's interested in it. I did pick this up in a bit of a sale bonanza weekend because I've been wanting to get one of these sorted out for ages. It's just, um, this price deduction just tempted me to get it sorted out because it's not exactly ready for it. It's probably gonna go over there somewhere um, when I get organized, but this is just a job. So um, yeah, if you're interested in one yourself, by all means head down there. This is not a pay V or anything like that. It's just sharing some of the mod shop upgrades with you guys. If you wanna see more of that and, make, and you would like me to make more of these type of videos, Please do mention in the comments below. I know a few of you have asked, but if there's a, if that's what you would like me to do, these are much easier to make in between my other shows, tours, um, and uh, there is some more van mods that um, I'm looking. As soon as that weather's a bit better, because I'd like to do the van mods now, but I'm not standing in that. I don't know if you can hear that rain, but it's absolutely chuffing it down. So. When it gets a little bit warmer and a little bit better, I'm going to be bringing out um, another modification video um, to the channel. It's just waiting for that weather, really. Um, 
If you are not already subscribed, please consider subscribing today because it's absolutely free. And if you didn't see the most recent video, I will link that just above, which was the Camper Mart video. And um, I was testing out a brand new camera, the Canon R6, epic camera. They prived that from my fingers at the door on the Monday morning afterwards. But if this channel reaches 10K, I will order one. So um, if that's not a reason to subscribe, I don't know what it is. Thanks again for watching. Thanks to everybody that already is subscribed. And uh, I look forward to your comments below. Take care. Anybody want a drink? Kit Kat, Mars Bar, tea? Tea? Next time.